stream a little bit about boosting before. Boosting communities still in operation despite Blizzard's bans. We, we dove into the well of, of boosting not too long ago. And uh, we didn't like what we found. Boosting is very prevalent, people. Especially before the ban, it was everywhere. I was I was shocked by how and I was shocked by how much money, real world money, some of these people were making off of boosting. It was crazy. Um, but uh, this boosting is kind of happening for other reasons. So I'll read this a little bit. But um, believe it or not, this boosting is happening from major guilds, major world first race to world first guilds are the ones doing this stuff. I, they will always find a way around it. That's right. How much were they making? I mean, we are seeing hundreds of thousands of dollars being exchanged through the boosting community. It was crazy. And like out, outside of America too, like just worldwide. People boosting for money. And the way they were doing it was exchanging uh, for WoW tokens. They were taking the gold they were making, exchanging it for, uh, for WoW tokens. And then somehow getting that money out of the... Uh, out of the WoW tokens. Yeah, it was it was it was wild. It was. Uh, but this stuff is going on again for a different reason. They're not going for the real world money here. And uh, it's it's race to world first guilds that are doing this. Although officially banned in January, it appears third party boosting communities are still alive and well. Matching players willing to spend gold on a dungeon or raid clears that with uh, clear with groups that carry them. A Twitter post by Pencake highlighted several major European boosting communities which are still operating along with a video where uh, which they matched with current world first guild world second guild method. Look at that. We had a booster join uh, our mythic push. He had a 277i level over 3k IO score only did 5.5k damage over and stood in everything just makes the gene pool moody yeah it, it does it kind of it uh you know all of this stuff you know say what you want about what eye level to the game and everything it does help you just gauge player score a little bit so does raider you know mine isn't that good but your ratings and stuff right because some of this content is a bit difficult and you just want to know somebody's done it. Even um, just like uh, raid progress helps a lot to know if someone's done a fight. But then you invite the person and they clearly don't know anything about their class or what's going on. And then you're like, yeah. It just kind of sets the raid back. Now we got to invite another person and get this fixed. But anyways, let's see this video that he's talking about here. Is there any sound to this? Am I missing something here? No, I don't think there's sound on this video. Let me see if I go through YouTube. Oh, look at this. What is this? It's a boosting... Hold on now. This is po Oh, this is posted on a website? Hello Straw, an advertisement will be assigned uh, to help you shortly. New booking request. Oh, this is a Discord. This is a Discord here. So they're using a Discord channel now to match? When will tier bosses be available? Look at this, people are asking. Wow. Holy crap, look at that. Wait, wait, what are people saying in here? Hello, Straw, that will be in 40 to 50 minutes. Uh, price is 1,650, right? Look at that, look at that. People are posting their names for the invite. All right, collector. All right, I'm the collector of the run. Uh, would you like to trade now and get rid of it? Rather pay at the run. It's the same uh, for you. Then I can do a key now. Yeah, sure. Five, ten minutes before if possible. 
Wow, yeah, look at these negotiations going on. They're totally trading for gold. Wow. Yep. He's giving him the gold. The trade has gone through. I feel like I'm watching a drug deal. What the hell? Tell absolute. Okay, going with the team or the guild, by the way. So here he is back in the Discord here. And he's streaming it. This man's streaming it too. Yep, that's him. Vic Lund, he's a, me he's a member of Method. He's a member of Method and he's streaming the paid run. Wow. Gold. Oh, he paid through an intermediary to avoid showing it on the stream. That's what the comment says here. He didn't pay the the uh, the 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 member of method directly. He paid a intermediary who will hold the gold because the uh, the person who's actually doing the run is currently streaming. So he doesn't want the payment to happen live on the stream. Wow. Invite to the Method Raid group. Yeah, so he just got the invite. And now he's in the Method Raid group. Going now he goes through the streams. Hold on, let me let me lower this real quick. A little bit loud. A little bit loud on the music side of things. This is crazy. Now he's going through the different streams to show that this is indeed uh, the method group that he's running with. So this man, Jazz2, is part of it. They're in the raid as well. Yeah, it's a sepulcher of the first one's raid carry. And he's showing how the different members of method are Are part of the raid carry. Oh yeah, he's showing he's showing himself in the raids on their streams. So a few of these guys are in the raid. Yep, there he is. Oh man, there's like four guys streaming this. Wow. What the heck? Pole slash rest of raid. Okay, so now he just goes through. They're downing boss after boss. Yep, look at that. They're on Crab Boy now. He dies. All the people who are getting carried just die instantly. Look at that, he's dead. But Method finishes him off. Yep, they're just going to stay dead. Look at that. It doesn't matter because it's just a carry. Look at that, they got him. What the heck? Tay Biscuit, GC Fox. Sorry, guys. I'm so I'm so enthralled by this. I haven't been paying attention. Sam wants Raid to fill in the next hour or so. Pepe Hands. I'm sorry about that. My queue has expired twice. Sorry. Oh, man. Duff. Yes. Jedris, welcome. Are we a full raid now? Almost. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Look at that. They're all just dead. Going through the rest of the raid. They're dying like every fight. And yet they're... Uh... Oh, I wonder how they do on Anduin. Are they telling the person just to die? No, no. What the fuck? They're having the people who are getting carried just kill themselves? They're like, don't interfere with the fight. Just let us finish it off. 
So they just stayed dead during the whole Anduin fight. Did they kill him? What the fuck? They got him? They just die and collect the loot. Yeah, they just kill themselves and collect the loot. So they don't blow up the group. Yeah, that makes sense. They're, they're more of a liability if they stay alive. Wow. Thing is, boosting for gold is okay. Nian, yeah, that's what we're actually watching. I mean, they're, they're not taking money. So method, the reason these guilds are doing this is the race to world first requires an obscene amount of gold. Right? They need a crazy amount of gold. Zitrium, let me know if you're in here. I'll invite you. So uh, this is the only way they, they can basically compete at such a high level. They need the, the gold, thanks to the whole legendary system and the way it's set up now. Uh, pull and the rest of the raid. Here they go. They're still going through. Again, they just all die, so they don't interfere with the fight. It's a common theme here. Just kill yourself. Don't interfere with the fight. Yep. They're just going to jump off the edge as soon as the fight starts. There he goes. Killed himself again. That's crazy, man. Wow. So that's it. I mean, yeah, we, we clearly saw that these the Method players are streaming. They're streaming the raid. Uh, player accepted payment for the raid, and then it went on from there. Um, this talks about, uh, we can find sympathy here as it is easy to believe that guilds have no other way to keep up with the obscene amount of gold required to participate in the race to world first. Um, if not, for these kinds of organized sales. Yeah, exactly. That's made more difficult with each passing tier too, as it is no secret spending has steadily increased. Although while part of that is due to normal inflation, some of the circumstantial... Some of it is circumstantial, due to the rel relative power of things like corruption or set bonuses from tier to tier. The amount of gold spent on these things isn't set by Blizzard, so much has been uh, driven by the guilds that are willing to spend the money on them. Yeah, I mean, the amount of money that has been required for people to spend is insane. It's insane. It's crazy how like real life economics is getting into this. Guessing it's heroic, so they just take a bunch of uh, mythic geared players and carry them. Yeah, I think that's it. That's right, Tidewell. I think it was. It's heroic. That's what I remember seeing in the chat. Uh, then convert to Bnet balance, um, and what not is a loophole. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. That's how you take the gold to real money. But they're not even doing that. They just want the gold, so they can buy shit in game. Golden time, yeah, exactly. It's like tax laws. Whatever they didn't state uh, is clearly advisable move for everyone to take. <laughs> yeah. Hey, big man, what's up, the falafel fish? You kill Andy yet? No, not yet. Hopefully, maybe, maybe we'll get him today. Sam, nope. Nope, question what? It's 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 just it's mind blowing though the amount of gold that these guys probably need. Look at this. Hold on, here's the number. So Method is actually one of the smaller offenders this tier, only spending around 480 million gold, about 41,000. Oh my God, 41,000 dollars in WoW token prices at this time. What the hell? If you need a healer, healer, let me know. I'll give you all a hand. Yeah, we could use another healer. Taylor shifts. Is Taylor sh is that you? Good God. Yeah, that's insane. Those numbers are insane. Forty-one thousand dollars. And they're a, they're considered a smaller offender. Hold on, there's more. Um, compared to Echoes, six hundred ninety-four million, fifty-nine thousand dollars. Or liquids, 723 million gold, an astounding 93,000 US dollars. Oh my god. The liquid almost had a hundred thousand dollars equivalent in gold. That's me, alright. 
Sounds good. Welcome. That's crazy. That's crazy. These numbers are massive. So who is really at fault here? Blizzard for adding powerful tier sets, which make time uh, to acquire, which which take time to acquire, or guilds offering tens of millions of gold to acquire them faster. It's probably a little bit of both. Yeah, so here we see tweets from the guilds talking about, you know, what they're offering. And they're just straight up, you know, blatantly showing they're, they're, you know, here are the numbers. They tweet it out. That's how much you got to spend. That's wild. Look at that. I mean, just straight up, they're advertising it. Like, it's like, it's like a business. 10 million gold, normal. Four, any heroic tier token. Two, normal tier token. Look at that, like bosses for sale, up to four million gold for various other items. Wow. <laughs> Method probably isn't the only well-known guild participating in these types of sales either. Just the only one that we know of using third-party communities in which to do so. So, I mean, they're the only ones that they've caught so far, like using Discord, I guess. Every guild involved in the race uses sales to recoup their uh, their debts and expenses, along with many more um, who aren't explicitly competing. That's just crazy to me. Zaterium. Uh, unfortunately, there is no good answer for this growing problem. Commenters repeatedly bring up the idea of uh, a torment, a tournament realm, which may work. Uh, to players on an uh, to put players on an even footing, but it's a solution that few participate, few participants actually want. Blizzard doesn't want to regulate it. The players don't want to be regulated by it. It further fragments the player base and introduces a host of other issues to contend with. That's just crazy. Progress to uh, twice through the tier, or giving up their actual main accounts. It also does a disservice to the fact that preparation actually is a competitive element. Yeah, preparation is totally a competitive element. It's basically a qualifier for competing in the tournament to begin with. Echo just released their weak aura, weak auras add-ons. Is it uh, is it an add-on for uh, Anduin? So maybe we'll use it. It's important to recognize this isn't a new problem, though. It's a result of a long-running arms race stretching back as far as the game itself. From farming blasted lands consumables, yeah, people used to do that, yeah, and dispelling world buffs, uh, to account sharing or raid stacking with mandatory alts. There are certainly things Blizzard could do uh, to curtail specific pressure points, removing BOEs or making further adjustments to the way loot is allocated, but as long as these guilds can justify the time spent, either in preparation beforehand or paying off debt after their tier ends, they'll continue to find ways to spend their time and money on every single advantage they can. It's true. Where there's a will, there's a way, man. Where there's a will, there's a way. They nerfed the shit out of the raid. Yeah, you know what? In the end, there's a little bit of uh, something here about that. Uh, it's, uh, th this whole boosting thing kind of blew my mind this morning, how that whole thing went down in this video. Crazy. 